Hey guys, I uh, figured I'd make a little video about the solar furnace that I've made. Um, I made one a few months ago using some of the designs online. I actually used aluminum screen for the heat absorber um, and it seems to work pretty good. I get about 70 or 80 degree heat out of it, but I didn't think to actually insulate the headers or the footers. Um, so it's pulling a lot of air from the outside and it's not heating up as, you know, as it should. Uh, so I decided to make a more professional, tidy looking one, um, and I decided to use cans this time, and you can see I got the cans in there, there's about 144 or so, 146 cans, um, and I insulated each header, and I actually made the headers 100% out of the one inch in, uh, rigid insulation, um, rather than having to drill through the wood. I did it before with the whole saw, and the drill that I have has like no give, so it kept torquing my wrist pretty bad. Uh, oh, <laughs> I just realized I've got a Sharpie down there that I guess I left in there. That'll stay there forever. Um, but anyways, I had it hooked up today. Uh, I had it hooked up with the dryer hose um, through this big insulated tube here right to the window, which is some more rigid insulation to insulate the, uh, the window. And I was getting pretty solid 115 degree heat and that was with sucking the air from the outside at like 46 degrees or maybe a little less um, so if I can get the air to suck in through the house you know putting like 65 degree air into it rather than cold air it should be able to increase the output I would think a pretty good deal um, that's about it I mean it's it works really well just putting it in I actually I tested the uh, the temperature of the cans today and the cans were 150, 160 degrees after sitting in the sun for like maybe three or four minutes. So it heats up like crazy. It's definitely worth doing. Uh, I probably got like a hundred and hundred or so dollars into the project but I've got some leftover materials to make a second one. Um, I'm gonna put you know the whole length of the deck here um, and I'm probably gonna build one to go on the front portion of the deck here and I might reuse some of the materials from the big one here. I might just take the panels off and re-insulate the headers because uh, it does work fairly well. I just need to, to kind of fine-tune that one a little bit more. But the south is pretty much like right here for us. Um, so I get fairly good sun in the morning. It's unfortunate that we have houses that block a lot of the sun. Um, this house over here blocks it from about 2.30 on. Um, and this one I get, you know, blocks until about 9. So I get from 9 till about 3, which isn't too bad considering the, uh, the sun goes down around here right now, around 4.30 in the winter. So overall, I think it's definitely a great project and uh, something I'll definitely keep doing. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to do a couple more and uh, go from there. And hopefully we'll uh, be heating our house for next to nothing this winter.